it's me, Mario. And I'm here to react to a creepy pasta with Pac-Man, Pikachu, Steve, Patrick Star, Venom, Unikitty, SpongeBob SquarePants, Zombie Steve, and Sonic. Yeah, Mario. We're gonna react to a creepy pasta. Oh, I hope it isn't. That's. I hope it isn't scary. Oh, be ready. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's do it. Well, let's -a go. Also, I have a question. Didn't we react? Didn't somebody react to this already? Yes, but October this was different. Oh, okay. One thirty-five p.m. Oh. It was my girlfriend's birthday. Oh, congrats! At Disney World. Oh she boy. Tight, squealing happily as I rubbed her back slowly, savoring this moment. This was the opportunity I will get to encourage to marry her. Oh, let's go. We may have been young in our twenties. I was about to be thirty next year, but I needed to have her with me forever. I softly told her, happy birthday, and we locked lips. Uh -huh. October 29th, 1983, 11.45 p.m. All packed for tomorrow morning, I looked to my girl, sleeping ever so delicately. I smiled as I got undressed down to my body. Yeah, I got like to watch and people got sleeping. I reached to the lamp, and before I turned off the light, my girlfriend spoke to me. Hey. Yeah. Would you ever leave me? I what? smiled, turned off the light, and pulled her close to me. Okay, what is that girl talking about? I kissed her goodnight and kept I don't know. as we slept peacefully. But that terrified me a bit. As I lay there with my eyes shut. <sighs> me too. She can never make me leave her. Me want to know. Never. October 30th, 1983, 5.24 a.m. I woke up to the sound of kissing as I felt someone on top of me. I saw my girl kissing my neck. Had to admit, mm -hmm. this is the best I like to I do that to my little brother because I love him so much. I rubbed down my girl's body. Oh, that sounds very sweet. To my face so yeah, I agree. Lips. I then break away after a solid minute of kissing. Ready to go? She nodded and got out of bed to the bathroom. October 30th, 1983, 10.42 a.m. After getting off the plane and checking the hotel room. Me want to go out of plane. I know, Steve. My girlfriend wanted to do everything. Ride the rides, eat the food, go to shops. It was like the love of my life became a child. Weird. Do all girls do that? Anyways. I do I that sometimes. Animal Kingdom. It wasn't as packed as Magic What do me to do? We saw many animals, yet there was one exhibit I will always ponder. The monkey exhibit was a somewhat large area, which kept gates in front of the walkway, where pedestrians would be able to see the animals up close. Different species were behind the gate. You cool hedgehogs? I want to see my own lover. kind. My girlfriend leaned against the bar that blocked people from getting too close to the gate. Whoa. As she got a closer look, what? Creatures. Oh God! Oh my God! They screamed. Oh man! As if they were That's so loud. Oh man! Loudness is my weakness. Don't worry, Venom. Mamma mia! What did I do? Did I do something wrong? She as I attempted to calm her down and take her away from the exhibit of screeching monkeys. I then noticed a sign near the exit. Do not disturb the animals. They shriek what? in danger. She didn't do anything to them. Why would they scream at her? 
as a way of for self-defense? Clearly, monkeys cannot see true beauty. Still, it made me think. Except Kong. What would have caused this? October thirtieth, nineteen eighty-three, nine fifty-five p.m. So much for a magical day. Every time my girlfriend wanted to do something, she ended up being seen as a villain. Rides would break down when we rode them. Oh. The food was either burnt to a crisp or raw. Oh man. And all the things were just overpriced. Mamma mia. Disney had overpriced stuff. I had to think of some way to change this around, so I could propose to her. Five minutes till closing. Everyone forced to leave. Why don't we hide till everyone leaves? And we had the magic kingdom to ourselves. Oh boy, that is I not a good idea. Yet evil scheme, and she gladly agreed. We went to Frontierland to hide in some bushes behind the beloved Splash Mountain. Oh no, that is not a good time, idea. We started making out. I decided to undo her clothing. And when one thing what? led to another, we were having sex. Oh, what? Oh, that is so awkward. 1983, 1041 p.m. Silence filled the once populated park. Security and cleanup checking out as I rubbed my girl's back. I looked out to the empty streets to think. Wanna ride Splash? I thought I was dead. I chuckled at her dumb joke and rubbed down her thigh. Oh man. We got up, leaving our clothing. I can almost feel since it. Since we were only going to be back afterwards. It took a while, but we jumped through the empty line, reworked, and started the ride. I smirked as I watched my girlfriend walk into the log float. I pressed the green button, making the log float out. Okay, why would they and leave the crony behind? And quickly hopped in. Why was the water too cold? Oh, I agree with Patrick. Audio started oh, me, I so agree. That it normally played during park hours. My girl hummed to the tune as I smiled happily. <laughs> Suddenly, as we were floating along, the audio turned into soft static. Glitching up. Must have been a malfunction. Just a little bug in your system, Dan. Yeah, I really hope so. Our first drop yeah, and I hope. It and continued the ride as normal. Then the ride stopped. We were in a room on a log, floating on water, surrounded by the cartoon characters on the ride. Ooh. They all stood still. Oh, be so scared. Stayed off. It's okay, Puppet Steve. Leaving it vaguely dark in the room. I'm a mirror. Ladies and gentlemen, there has been an issue. Please stay seated till a cast member comes to assist you. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> My girlfriend was getting scared. Oh she boy, that, that is so terrifying. Gently, showing I was here for her. We believed we were found out and we were going to be arrested. Oh, no. I told her it was okay. Nothing bad will happen. If someone tries to arrest me, I will bite their heads off. As it started to move again. I pulled up my the corner. The characters staying completely still, yet their uh. eyes locked onto our float. They were watching us. Watching what? with a cold, hard stare. Oh. With their big, plastic eyes. Oh, boy. The ride. We continued as normal, but the water didn't feel like water anymore. What? It looked all clumpy, like curdled milk. Ugh. But it was all I had it once, but I had explained the like idea. Darkness oh, man. You close your eyes. What the hell is happening? We were in the dark part of the ride. This was right before the big drop. Things were off. Animatronics were covered in the black water. They looked as if they were melting. 
My girl started panting heavily. Oh, Mamma Mia. It looked like that was the lava. She was terrified of the sight of the cartoon characters melting into their endoskeleton form. I tried my best to calm her down, but I was scared too. Oh, me too. We were going up to the Don't worry, Pup now, Steve. Terrified of the black and dirty water flowing down to where we once were. My girlfriend cried now as we started to hear what sounded like blood curdling screams Pika. on these audio tracks. Pika Pika. Something wasn't right. Something is doing something to scare us. Something or someone found us trespassing. We saw the dark, empty park once reaching the top before. Hey, Creeper. Oh, Mamma Mia. Oh my god, what the? Oh man. We were soaked in the disgusting water. Well, at least I was. When I opened my eyes, my girlfriend was gone. I looked around, screaming her name. Nothing. Oh my god, I'm so terrified. I guess I am scared. Towards the bridge I still. Where people would cross over to enter to the ride. There was someone standing there. What? I called out my girlfriend's name. No reply. I took a closer look as the log continued to slowly float down the river. I swear I saw a glimpse of a mascot. The character was hard to see, but I could tell from his big ears. Oh boy, Mickey. Sure, it is cliche to see Mickey around. Oh, me love Mickey. But he looked different. What? He looked as if he was covered in the black tar I was floating in. <laughs> Some of his fur melted to the point where you could see. You could see his bones what? on the inside. What? They look like a human skeleton. Oh man. Than a mouse. <gasps> this was a human under a costume, but dead. <laughs> the cartoon mouse's eyes were big, black, empty holes. As the eyes oh, that sounds like the Enderman. It's a black tar down his Oh man, that's the face. theme from, from Dead Silence. Wind consisted of humid teeth closed together tightly. Oh, mama mia. It was so wide that it stretched from each ear. His arms and legs looked like sticks, the flesh <laughs> being melted off of him. Oh no, it's not sticks. This was insanity. He yeah, that makes sense. With those gaping eye sockets. I felt cold. Scared to death. I feel scared to death too. To the last room of the ride. The end where all the fictional animal creatures sang that same song. Zippity doo da. The audio was static. The animals stayed still. What? Covered in black tar. Half melted. <laughs> I realized now by looking at them. That what? This wasn't water. This was tar. Oh boy! Sounds like how bad he drowns people in ink. The audio then shut off. Pika Pika. Pika Chihu. Quiet. Silent. Dead. Until I heard something behind me. Oh no. I had to turn around. I had to. Mamma please don't. Then arose from that 
that black tar. It looked like someone. But I couldn't picture it until... Bridget? Pika? I saw my girlfriend. <gasps> I felt my heart race. Is she alright? I was happy to see her again. What? What? Her right eye out of its socket. Oh, SpongeBob, I'm scared. It's alright, Patrick. From her mouth Pika. To the of her neck. Oh, I'm so scared. I am too. Oh boy. Mamma Mia! Oh man, that voice is so creepy. I was speechless. What? I, mean to leave her. I swear I never meant to leave her. <laughs> she then screamed. Oh, Mama Mia! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, I want ice cream! Pika! <laughs> oh, boy! I tried backing away, but my stupidity happened to control me. What? And I fell into the tar. Mama Mia! Oh, man. I don't know why my shorts are so wet. I don't know, Patrick, but I feel wet too. Underneath my crotch. Oh god. A white room. Rose. Made of So sorry. What happened to me? Pika? What happened to Bridget? The one door in the empty white room opened. This man came in and slowly closed the door. Locking us both in. What? He asked me questions of that night. The night I lost Bridget. Oh, mamma mia. The night I wrote Splash Mountain. The man stared at me with a hard grin. Oh, no. Ear to ear. Ugh. As the room began to smell. Of what? <gasps> oh my god. Oh man, that's so scary. <laughs> oh man. My shorts are still wet. Mamma mia. Oh man, I can't even read all this because I'm too scared. Pika, you too. Oh, me so scared. <sighs> uh, let's go. Let's all go. Uh, oh, man, I think I need to take a shower because I think I... I think I just peed glitter. Oh, my God. I didn't go to McDonald's. Oh, man. I really want ice cream. Come on, it's my drop. Oh. Oh, guys. Pika. Shit. Oh, me so terrified. Come on, Papa Steve. Come on. Oh, boy. That's so terrifying. I know a Sonic, but at least we made it through. I better get going. Well, Mamma Mia, that's all, folks. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Mario signing off. Bye, everybody. Let's go.